In the early 1800s, there were six families that lived in Wake County, North Carolina. While they were free people of color, free didn't really mean free during that particular time in history. They sent out a lone scout to look at the area to see if it would be lucrative for agriculture because they were farmers. They came back and the report was absolutely it would be. They sold their farms and they traveled by caravan to Eastern Vigo County. They built churches, they built schools. Education and their faith were absolutely critical to the character of this community. My family instilled in me a deep love of the land and the history of the people who came before us. The soul of the Lost Creek settlement doesn't lie within facts and figures. The true treasure lies within the stories of, of freedom and inequities, in courage and in faith, and in struggles and in achievements. And I am overwhelmed that we are sharing the story that lives in our hearts and that has been demonstrated in our lives for generations. Hi. I'm Allie Midgley, Executive Director of Art Spaces, Wabash Valley Outdoor Sculpture Collection, Inc. in Terre Haute, Indiana. This project has the potential to impact thousands of people each year, those living in and around Terre Haute and our many visitors. Through public art, we will be able to help residents and visitors alike to become familiar with our history and this remarkable story of resilience, perseverance, and determination. You can play a crucial role in helping us tell this amazing story through a public sculpture in Deming Park. We are in the final stages of fundraising for this sculpture, but we need your help to meet our $30,000 goal. If we meet this goal, the Indiana Housing and Community Development Authority will provide a $30,000 match for this campaign. Please consider making your gift today. Together, we will soon bring more recognition to the Lost Creek Settlement's inspiring story of courage, resilience, and determination. But that's one of the traits that I love so much about the Lost Creek Settlement. The family love, the family connection. I grew up with my grandparents and they were so proud. They wanted their kids to be representatives of the Rosses. And I think it would be nice if each family could go to Deming Park and have their family picture taken there and then they can tell their own family stories. So it'll live on and on. But when they start seeing this community come together around our sculptor at Deming Park, I think that's gonna bring a lot of love and meaning and togetherness back to our community.